Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Fight Focus. And for today's video, we will be covering the most disrespectful knockouts in MMA. Also, if you enjoy this video, please make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and comment what video you want to see next. Let's get to it. We all love good sportsmanship. Seeing two fighters show respect towards one another before, during, and after a bloody cage fight is heartwarming and refreshing in an MMA climate dominated by trash talk, egos, and marketability. However, not every fighter behaves like this. What is more disrespectful than a knockout? A knockout and post-fight taunting. For this video, we've compiled a list of instances where MMA fighters knock their opponents out in disrespectful fashion. Number 8, Gerald Harris. After leaving the promotion and picking up wins on the regional scene, Harris met Aaron Cobb in the main event of Legacy FC 63 in 2016. What followed was one of the greatest slam KOs in recent memory and one of the coldest walk-offs. Less than a minute into the fight, Harris picked Cobb off his feet and held him for a moment while Cobb looked puzzled before slamming him into the canvas for an immediate knockout. Harris then flipped Cobb an aggressive peace sign while he recovered consciousness and walked away to celebrate with his corner. Number 7 Rampage Jackson Rampage Jackson and Vanderlei Silva legitimately hated each other, and the disrespect between the two of these men boiled over into the cage each and every time they fought. The tension in the air was palpable as the two fighters took the cage. The cat. The pair then traded punches until Jackson caught Silva with an incredible left hook early in the first round, knocking Silva out cold. Jackson eventually broke off and let loose his signature wolf howl. Jackson's performance was criticized by the media afterward, claiming Jackson lacked sportsmanship and should have stopped punching when he knew Silva was out. Number 6 Sean O'Malley Sugar Sean got back in the octagon against former top prospect Thomas Almeida at UFC 260. After knocking Almeida down with a shot, O'Malley knew he had finished him. Officially 80. That front kick up the middle. Oh, that's left hand hurt him bad. He's doing it again. And again, the hesitation. Oh! He stalked forward as Almeida rolled onto his back, fell into a right hand with all of his weight straight into Almeida's temple. Trying to trademark his own post-fight celebration, O'Malley celebrated by imitating a basketball jump shot and wobbling around as if he was unconscious too. The knockout itself was nasty, and the celebration in tandem made this an incredibly disrespectful finish. Number 5 Michael Page For Page is incredibly talented and often shows the levels to the game, when he blatantly disrespects his opponent's skills through dance moves and mental trickery. His performance against Jeremy Holloway at Bellator 153 showed that he is a finisher not only on with his incredible stand-up, but from all positions when the opportunity arises. Page dropped the clearly outclassed Holloway with the first strike, then took advantage of Holloway's takedown attempt to secure painful toehold submission. While locking up the foot, Page nodded aggressively towards Holloway, and when the fight was stopped, Page got in Holloway's face and danced away to the center of the cage. Page's post-fight celebrations are as infamous as his finishes, but this one felt particularly painful and disrespectful. Number 4 BJ Penn One example of this is his UFC 84 lightweight title defense against Sean Shirk. The fight played out for three rounds, when Penn landed an uppercut and followed up with a flying knee, Shirk crumpled to the fence while Penn landed several more punches before referee Mario Yamasaki stepped in. After his victories, Penn was infamous for licking his opponent's blood off his gloves. After finishing Shirk with a flying knee and follow-up strikes, Penn realized his gloves were blood-free. This was unacceptable, so Penn walked over to Shirk, who was still recovering from the knockout, and wiped his gloves on Shirk's bloodied face. He returned to the center of the cage and licked the blood to the enormous of applause of fans. Number 3 Israel Adesanya The fight was sure to sell, and both men had something to prove, however nobody, especially Dana White, expected Costa to be so slow and timid. Near the end of round 2, Adesanya hit Costa upside the temple with a left hook, which stunned him and caused a knockdown. 
Alessandra swarmed Costa with punches and elbows before the fight was stopped. Alessandra proceeded to hump Costa while he was killed over, causing the referee to push him away. The humping made social media buzz. I just approve 100%. Number 2 DJ Dillashaw After building a heated rivalry through gym drama and season of The Ultimate Fighter, Bantamweight Champion Cody Garbrandt was set to make his first title defense against top enemy TJ Dillashaw at UFC 213 in the summer of 2017. The momentum certainly seemed in the champion's favor until Dillashaw got into his rhythm and knocked Garbrandt out in the second round. After the finish, Dillashaw's emotions rose and he screamed in Garbrandt's face as the former champion rose to his feet, still wobbling after the knockout. Watching the fight, you could feel the disrespect coming to a boiling point and exploding with Dillashaw's victory and subsequent celebration in the face of his rival. And on to one of the most disrespectful knockouts ever seen. Number 1 Jorge Masvidal Perhaps the most iconic and most disrespectful MMA knockout belongs to Jorge Masvidal when he finished Ben Askren with a flying knee in 5 seconds at UFC 239. Any chance they get. The fight clock is brought to you by Modelo. Oh! Masvidal lined up a running knee perfectly with Ben Askren's skull as he did for a takedown. Askren went stiff as a board and fell to the floor while Masvidal followed up with two disgusting right hands before Jason Herzog stopped the fight. This not only set the record for the fastest knockout in UFC history, but it became one of the most disrespectful post-fight celebrations in recent memory as well. And for honorable mention, we have Shinya Aoki vs Mizuto Hirota. While this wasn't a knockout, but it was a submission, it was disrespectful nonetheless. While it doesn't show the best sportsmanship, it does show that bad blood and heated rivalries can create some spectacular performances. And that right there concludes this video. Let us know how we did in the comments below. Alright MMA fans, thank you so much for sticking around to the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, make sure to hit the notification bell, and don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Also, don't forget to comment below what video you want to see next.